There's no Wi-Fi. In the space of a month, I've complained about this four times. The people that maintain the property obviously ain't maintaining it properly. I'm paying over a thousand pounds. I originally signed up for this room, which is number three, but was number four. The maintenance people changed the numbers around. The locks. But the room I was in, this one, was the one with the leak. But this one was empty, so I just moved in there because the water wasn't working in this one. But this room is much bigger. I signed for it for a bit more money. But the one I'm in now is smaller and it costs less. But the agent and the people managing the property, they changed the locks and the numbers over, but they haven't notified WDP or Universal Credit. So not only have you got dodgy slum landlords, this is not on. This is for you, Brent Council, and your dodgy slum landlords. This is a hazard. Yeah, this happened the first day I moved in had a leak and the leak did this to my room I said I can't stay in a room yeah so I went into the other room but now the room that this has happened is someone still they've moved another tenant in there and they haven't repaired this for over a month this is a hazard you know 1,000 pound plus, which is not even worth it. We have to pay our own electric. That's not right. It should be all included. But the electric supply in the communal area is different to the ones in all the flats. So we use extension leads because we're all on universal credit and um, just trying and managing your life to get by. So we use extension leads to teach the communal electricity so we don't have to use our own because we're on universal credit. <laughs> 